Remove the screws securing the steering column cover. Start the car so you can turn the steering wheel freely. Using the pry tool, disengage the two halves of the steering column cover. Remove the side panel. Remove the two 10mm bolts located at the bottom of the lower dash panel. Using the pry tool, disconnect the lower dash panel and remove. Disconnect the accessory plugs attached to the back of the panel. Look up under the lower dash on the left side for the BCM. Connect the T-harness in line with the white 40-pin connector. Now, connect one of the two 3x lock T-harnesses. At the BCM, where we just connected the 40-pin T-harness, there are two more connectors. A white one, and a black one. In the Sentra, use the white 3 times lock T-harness to connect the white connector at the BCM. In the Versa and Cube, use the black 3 times lock T-harness to connect to the black connector at the BCM. To remove these connectors from the BCM, squeeze firmly on both sides of the connector. They can be difficult to remove. You should hear a click when it's properly connected. In neither vehicle should you have both the white and black 3 times lock T-harness connected. In the Sentra, you should have only the white 3 times lock T-harness connected. In the Versa and Cube, you should have only the black 3 times lock T-harness connected. Connect the ignition switch to harness. You may want to remove this metal plate for easier access. Disconnect the ignition switch connector and connect the T-harness in line. Attach the ground wire to any metal bolt connected to the chassis of the vehicle. Make sure to fully tighten the bolt. Secure the module and T-harness with the included zip ties. The physical installation is now complete. Refer to the guide for programming instructions.